If you're healthy and 18 or older, Nucleus Network has upcoming studies that provide financial compensation ranging from $500 to $5,000 for study participation time. Visit NucleusNetwork.com to check your eligibility. Welcome to this Timberwolves Fast Break presented by Nucleus Network. I'm Marnie Gellner with Rebecca Brunson. The Bulls beat the Timberwolves here tonight by four at Target Center, but the game didn't affect anything in the postseason. Minnesota already knew its fate, and that was to face the Clippers on Tuesday night in a play-in game. The Clippers have beaten the Wolves three out of the four times they played this season. Yeah, the Clippers have been good, but this is a this is a new season right here. We're talking about the playoffs. We're talking about the play-ins. So the Wolves have had some good experience with this team. Um, but the Clippers, their guards have been aggressive. They've been really good throughout the series. They're averaging 51 points per game, shooting 42% from three. You know, PG, Jackson, man, all of those guys have been tremendous. So I feel like the Timberwolves have to be aware of what they're going to do, how they're going to attack, how they're going to play in the mid-range and also get to the paint. The winner of that game will become the seventh seed. Here is the game summary uh, from the game tonight against Chicago where the Timberwolves ended up outscoring the Bulls in the paint and got a record, a franchise record, 85 points from the bench. This was game number 82 of the regular season. So up next, it's the Clippers and Chris Finch knows what's at stake now. Got a big week ahead of us. Got a chance to get into the playoffs, which is uh, no one would have predicted at the start of the season, really, except for our guys in the locker room. They talked about it on day one, so credit to them. It's a good first step. You know, this just needs to be the foundation of what we're trying to build. Um, and, uh, you know, regardless of what happens from here, we've got a lot of things that we learned about ourselves that we can you – know, places we need to go and get better and things we need to do better. So that's the exciting part. The Wolves hope to do a lot of things better on Tuesday because it is a one-game playoff stake. It's that type. It's a play-in game, and it's Tuesday night at Target Center. Paul George and the Clippers against Carl Anthony Towns and the Timberwolves. The winner is the seventh seed. The loser will have to play a second play-in game on Friday. That's it. After 82 games this regular season, the Timberwolves win 46 of them. Thank you for watching this Timberwolves Fast Break. It's presented by Nucleus Network.